In Dramatic, it's easy to design a cranial plate directly on the patient's anatomy. The fast and flexible semi-automated design tools allow you to design patient-specific craniopathy prosthesis with an even or a variable thickness, and this with a repeatable process. One of our engineers will show you how such a plate can be created in only a few steps. As a first step, we open the project containing the skull model in 3MATIC. To smooth the skull before creating the outline for the cranial plate, we apply the Reduce Smooth Wrap operations. We use this wrapped skull model to indicate the outline of the defect. Select the Create Curve operation, being sure to select Smooth Curve as a creation method. Also check the options Attract and Attach Curve. Now create a curve around the defect in the wrapped skull. Make sure to draw the curve close to the defect but in a low curvature area to ensure tangency between skull and implant. Then close the curve. To help you identify high curvature areas, you can create a curvature analysis, which is a part of the analysis module. This will provide you with a color map of the surface curvature. The color map can be adjusted by adapting the histogram range. The results of this analysis can help you to further edit the curve appropriately. You can also adjust the influence distance to limit the part of the curve that can be moved. To edit the curve, click on the point you want to move. A green dot will appear. Drag it to the new location and select Apply to finish the editing operation. Though this step is optional, mirroring the skull may improve symmetry and final results. Guiding lines based on a mirrored version of the skull can be used to guide your implant design so that it nicely matches the other side of the skull. To obtain these guiding lines, we first create a sketch in the sagittal plane by using the mid-plane method. You can adjust the size of the sketch by adjusting the parameters cell size and cells count. If necessary, adjust the position of the sagittal sketch with Interactive Translate Rotate to ensure that it is correctly positioned as a plane of symmetry for the skull. You can easily launch these tools by pressing the T or R key. Now that the sketch is correctly positioned, you can create a mirrored copy of the skull with the mirror operation. Use the newly created sketch as a mirror plane. Make sure the option copy is checked on. Duplicate the sagittal sketch and rename the resulting entity to sketch coronal. Rotate this sketch 90 degrees so that it cuts through the defect as a coronal plane. 
enable snapping to easily rotate the plane in steps of 90 degrees. Then move the rotated plane so that it roughly divides the defect vertically in two. Adjust the mirrored skull with interactive translate to improve its positioning towards the original skull. Now the skull information, defect curve and mirrored anatomy needs to be imported into the sketch. The points at the intersection of the sketch with the defect curve will serve as a starting and ending point for the guiding curve. Use the Create Spline tool to sketch a guiding line. Try to match the mirrored skull as closely as possible. Now it's time to start creating the cranial plate. First, select the Surface Construction operation and select the Defect Curve for Entities and the Coronal Sketch as guiding lines. For Triangulation, choose Fine. If the resulting surface is not tangent to the skull, the outline curve needs to be flipped. To do this, first undo the surface construction. Then select the curve and flip on Flip Curve. Now you can construct the surface again with a tangent result. The newly created surface is part of the skull, but we want it to be a separate entity. Select the surface and right click to make it a new part which you can call prosthesis. Now we want to add a thickness to the surface. To get an idea of the thickness of the skull in different areas around the defect, you can use the measure distance tool preferably on the original skull. Then use the Variable Offset tool to indicate different thickness values along the surface contour. You can assign a local thickness value to one or several points on the surface contour and repeat this as many times as needed. To visualize the results, select the standard section Y in the section list, select Clip in the Properties view and adjust the position to see a cross selection of the skull and the plate. Make sure to hide the section before proceeding to the next step. At this point, the current plate still intersects with the skull and doesn't fit smoothly. Therefore, we need to subtract the skull from the plate. For a smooth fit, add a clearance distance of 0.1 mm with the Uniform Offset tool. Don't forget to check the setting Remove Original. Before proceeding, remove all redundant shells. 
To do so, select the skull with the Mark Shell functionality in the Mark menu. Followed by Invert Marking to highlight the other shells. Press Delete to get rid of the loose pieces. To now subtract the skull from the cranial prosthesis, perform a Boolean subtraction with the prosthesis as the entity and the skull with offset as subtraction entity. It's possible that the resulting entity has some loose pieces. You can remove these by again using the mark shell and invert marking functionality. Now it's time to finalize our cranial plate design. First, we will remove the obstructing material, blocking a good fit of the prosthesis. Apply the undercut removal operation and select the surface normal of the upper surface of the prosthesis as the direction. The multiple surfaces on the side can be merged. Only select the side surfaces, not the top and bottom surfaces, to keep those contours available for further finishing. As a next step, select the contour you want to smooth. The smoother the detail, the finer the result, but the longer the calculation will take. The resulting contour is clearly smoother. Then use the chamfer edge tool for a smooth bevel around the bottom contour. Select the outer contour of the bottom surface of the prosthesis, set a distance and apply. As a final step, we want to make such a holes to be able to stitch the soft tissue to the prosthesis. To this end, create a cylinder that will be patterned and subtracted from the plate to create holes. Select a radius of 1.5 mm and choose 0.2 in such a way that the cylinder length is 20 mm. Place points on the prosthesis where the holes need to be. You can easily apply the creation of a point with the shortcut Shift Enter. Now we must group the points which have been created. With the point-based pattern tool, you can pattern the cylinder. Set a depth of 10 mm and choose Z as the direction. Now subtract the patterned cylinders from the prosthesis with a boolean subtraction to obtain your final result. With its comprehensive functionalities, the Mimix Innovation Suite facilitates and speeds up the entire workflow for creating patient-specific implants or instrumentation directly from medical image data. The software's anatomical approach allows for a perfectly fitting device. That is why the Mimix Innovation Suite has become a software of choice for CMF researchers who generate evidence from medical images and for companies that produce numerous custom implants on a daily basis.